Hey everyone, welcome to the start of my journey on growing a woodworking business here and trying to do make my first thousand dollars this month in my first month of business and yeah just growing a business so the reason I'm doing this is because um, during the summer I had a pretty good job which I had another business a lawn mowing business and stuff but now that it's back to school I want to try to create another business as well but what I'm going to do for my first business during school is I know there's other businesses that I might would rather run types of businesses than a woodworking one, but I do have kind of experience. My job during the summer was, was, um, a carpentry job. So I've already got kind of experience with these tools and working with wood. So I figure I'd, this would be the best time to or best type of business just to get me on my feet plus at home here i have access to this shop which is uh pretty nice and i also have a, a whole bunch of wood uh sitting back here got that stack and we got a couple stacks over there so lots of wood to work with and i think it's a very minimal um, expense for me to get started, which will be good. So let's try this out. I'm going to try to make $1,000 in 30 days from this woodworking business. So stick along. Today, we are starting with $0. But what I am going to be my first project is I'm going to make two two side tables out of this. So, and my, I do have some epoxy and stuff sitting inside. So we're going to try to do that. Here we go. Okay everyone, so the end of day one here. Uh, I didn't get as far as I'd like, but it's because I had quite a bit of schoolwork today. I didn't get very far. But I did, however, I did get, these guys are all ready to go here. They're turning out pretty good. And then we also have for our legs, I have these prepared for tomorrow. We're just gonna make some modern style kind of farmhouse legs for them. And uh, yeah, so it should go pretty well. Um, get these done tomorrow and then hopefully start epoxying. 
But thanks for taking along on the journey. Hey everyone, welcome back to the journey um, of making a thousand dollars in thirty days. Today we're still working with these side tables, but um, yeah, here we go. We're still at zero dollars, but hopefully by the end of this week we'll have our first sale by getting these done. Here we go. Okay guys, so that's the end of day two. Um, yeah. I uh, uh, ran into a couple of hiccups, but uh, still learning here, but uh, we have the start. We have the start of the legs. We just need to uh, just screw a couple more things and then, um, yeah, I'm close to start working on the tops, but I'm hoping in uh, two more days, I'll have this, this first, uh, these first two side tables left but uh, done by then, but I might start working on another project before then. But uh, yeah, still at zero dollars, but the, the money will come, the money will come once I get done. I just need to be patient. Just keep working here. So um, yeah, see you guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to the journey. Uh, we're still at zero dollars, but uh, we're making some good progress here. Hoping to finish up the legs today. Also starting on a net like a bench out of this guy but I was hoping on being a little bit further ahead but I've run into a, somebody else who's currently using my uh, epoxy right now and I need to get it back and they're being a little slow with it so that's why I haven't started epoxying um, yet but uh, planning on to very soon hopefully you know we get some good progress today and please subscribe.
So we got done the legs here. Just need to um, do some other finishing touches on them. Uh, put some wood filler and paint them. Um, not looking too bad. Still, we got these here sitting here still waiting for a boxy. All nice time to down. Um, this here is my next item piece of furniture that I'm planning on using for a piece of furniture. It's looking pretty nice. Um, just been chewing the bark off of it. Uh, whoa, with a chisel. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try to do a pedestal, a pedestal leg for this, like a pedestal for legs. And, um, but I'm going to try to get a, uh, router slug going here because it is a little, it's a little uneven. Just to take off maybe a quarter inch each side will make it perfectly flat, I think. And then we'll epoxy this. We gotta be careful when moving this one though, cause a huge crack, but this figure is really nice and I think it will make a really nice table. So yeah, that's basically it. Tomorrow, hoping to wood filler this, paint that, and get down the legs for this guy. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining the journey. Hey everyone, welcome back to the journey. Um, today, we're still at zero dollars, but uh, it's day four. And uh, today we're working on this sled, or this, sorry, this piece of, this tree cookie here. Um, pretty nice. But we're gonna just try to use this router sled here. Also, we are putting wood filler on these legs and getting them ready for painting. And we are gonna build a pedestal sort of style of legs for this tree cookie. So three, three tasks today. Hopefully I'll get them all done. Here we go.
Okay, everyone. I think that's the wrap for day, day four here. Um, yeah, so we got these wood filled. Hopefully sand them and paint them tomorrow. We got this guy. I've spent about an hour sanding it. I just needed a little break. But I still probably have a good 40 minutes of sanding on this sucker. I don't know if you can see, but there's still a little couple. You can see the lines a little bit still. And I need to go around the bark a bit more here. Also, I did get the... I did get the uh, pedestal legs kind of started. I have all the wood here done, ready, well jointed and oh well nice and straight and cut to length. But next part is to cut this on the table saw. I want to kind of cut them at 45 degrees so they go in together nice. But uh, I didn't really want to start that tonight since it's getting a little late. Um, but yeah, we, we'll do that tomorrow. And I'm still waiting for my epoxy to get that back from whose person I lent it to. But because um, I don't really want to buy new stuff because I still have like two gallons there. We're, <laughs> that's tons, tons to do these kinds of tables. Probably do eight, eight tables with that. But yeah, so we're still at zero dollars, but uh, we, got, we got definitely some products on the go um, here. And once I get them done, hopefully in, yeah, five days, hopefully, um, then I'll have the money start flowing in. Then we can buy maybe some more tools to keep us going on this because it would be nice to get a tool such as like a planer. Or something like that in here, cause, yeah. Okay, well that's it for today's video, and thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Thanks for joining the journey. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, um, or the journey, I guess. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start by finishing up the pedestal legs for this guy. Finish sounding this, and also send these legs here still zero dollars but uh again i'm waiting for the epoxy but that should come fairly soon here but right now we're just going to try to build up as much uh products as we can and i can only work an hour or something after school right uh that's all i really have time for right now um yeah here we go
Okay, everyone, let me show you what we got done tonight. These guys are all sanded, ready for painting. Um, yeah, that turned out not too bad. Uh, but yeah, and then we also got this guy sanded down, ready for epoxy. Got the bark all chiseled nice. Just got started on the pedestal legs. I still don't know what I want to do, how to attach the base. I was thinking about using this, having it sort of like, uh, having it sort of like, this here as the base, and then having this on top and attaching this to this like this. Let me check out how that would look quick. Keep in mind this is nowhere near finished. So then this is how it would kind of look. Put this all epoxy on top. I know it's kind of an odd figure, but uh, I don't know, it doesn't look too bad maybe. Give that a shot, but uh, yeah, so that will be it. Thanks for joining. See ya. Today is day six, I believe. And, um, yeah, we've come pretty far, but we're still at zero dollars, but good news. I did get the epoxy in today back from the person who I lent it to. And so, yeah, we're going to start epoxy. So, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. We need the subscribers so I can reach more people. But anyways, here we are. Here's what we have so far. So today we're gonna epoxy this, these two side tables here, and we're going to epoxy this. Maybe give it one last little sand, then epoxy that sucker up. And then we are going to finish building this stand and we are going to paint these legs hopefully get that all done today but we'll see i think we can but yeah here we go
Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is day seven of the journey and we are still at zero dollars, but I am now epoxying the tables, uh, my previous projects. I'm sorry there was a big delay in the videos because I had a, a kind of an unexpected event happen in my life where I just need, I was gone away from home for a week that uh yeah so sorry about that but we're getting right back to the videos and we're gonna make this happen a thousand dollars in 30 days day seven today we are going to paint this and put another coat of paint on the other things already the other two sets of side table legs in there we are also going to start getting this slab ready and designing some legs for it. It's a pretty punky slab, but I'm sh I'm gonna try to carve it out and p just penetrate it with a whole bunch of epoxy to strengthen it. So that should be good, but that's the plan for today and put on another coat of epoxy on the other two projects. Here we go. done we got the painting done it did go a little bit I didn't get done in the wood in the shop as much as I wanted on building projects just because I don't know I'm a little bit worried about the slab as you can see I might have to cut it shorter but it is there are a lot of places where the it is pretty bad. But what I'm thinking is maybe just hold off on this for a little while. And then once I get some money coming in, buy some uh, deep pour, deep cast epoxy. So that maybe we can maybe make a river table or something out of this. Because I think with these big gaps in places uh, with another color... It would look pretty nice. But in the meantime, because uh, that one won't really work for now, I'm going to be making turning this into um, a bench. I think I'm going to tick off the one side here and then just, yeah, make some legs for it and turn that guy into a bench. But yeah, here we go. 
the day seven, tomorrow's day eight. See you then.